Hey, it's Stephanie Wong, and welcome back to What's New in Networking, where we cover what's new in networking. Today, I'm covering the updates for core infrastructure. There's a lot to catch up on, so let's get into it. Right off the bat, we have some exciting cloud region announcements. We've launched new cloud regions in Delhi, India, Melbourne, Australia, and Warsaw, Poland. Delhi and Melbourne are the second regions within those markets, enabling in-country disaster recovery for mission-critical applications. Meanwhile, Warsaw is the first region in Poland and the seventh in Europe. Designed for high availability, regions open with three availability zones to protect against service disruptions and offer a portfolio of our key products, including Compute Engine, Kubernetes Engine, Cloud Storage, Cloud Spanner, and BigQuery. If you deploy workloads in those regions, you'll benefit from lower latency and high availability for your users. We're also expanding our interconnect locations, including Phoenix, Arizona, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Copenhagen, Denmark, and Warsaw, Poland, adding to over 110 locations. Dedicated Interconnect provides direct physical connection between your on-premises network and Google's network. Dedicated Interconnect enables you to transfer large amounts of data between networks, which can be more cost-effective than purchasing additional bandwidth over the public internet. With additional locations, we're making it more accessible for you to get direct physical connection from your own network to Google's, including up to 100 gigabits per second circuit. Next up, Cloud Router's new features. Cloud Router is our fully managed service that uses Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, to advertise IP address ranges. Like you saw in the last section, it's used to set up dedicated interconnect, as well as high availability VPN, and serves as a control plane for CloudNet. You can now disable or enable a BGP session on Cloud Router at a per peer level. Previously, you were not able to enable or disable specific BGP sessions on Cloud Router. You can now do so by issuing a command through the API, CLI, G Cloud, or the Google Cloud UI without terminating the BGP session. Say you've set up Cloud Router, but you want to change the router configuration when migrating to a different BGP peer or performing maintenance on a peer. You can disable the session per peer safely with a quick command, update the settings, and enable the session. This gives you the flexibility to make configuration changes per peer without resetting the BGP session or disabling and re-enabling the interconnect or VPN link it sits on. Now let's talk about the Keep Alive timer. The cloud router and your on-premise router maintain communication by using timer settings. The Keep Alive timer is the interval between periodic PGP heartbeat messages exchanged between a cloud router and the on-premises router and indicates whether a router is reachable to its BGP peer. You can now modify the Keep Alive timer on Cloud Router. Previously, it was static with a default value of 20 seconds, but now you can change it to a value between 20 and 60 seconds. This way, you can set a higher value on the Google Cloud side in case you have a longer hold timer before a failure is triggered. Once a hold timer is hit, the BGP session is torn down. One thing to note is we recommend setting the Keep Alive timers to the same value on your on-premises router and the cloud router. Together, these features provide you with flexibility in managing and troubleshooting BGP sessions with cloud router. Serverless VPC access allows you to create VPC connectors that connect serverless services like App Engine, Cloud Run, and Cloud Functions to a VPC network. When you create a connector in your Google Cloud project, you attach it to a specific VPC network and region. You can then configure your serverless services to use the connector for outbound network traffic like accessing Compute Engine instances and any other resources with an internal IP address. While serverless VPC access automatically provisions throughput for a connector in 100 megabits per second increments based on the amount of traffic sent through, you could still phase throughput limits if the connector was deployed using a smaller machine type. With this update, you can select larger instances to support more throughput and set new scaling settings. You can set the connector machine type and the min and max number of instances it can scale to. If traffic requires it, the connector can scale up to the max number configured. With the update, you can achieve up to 16 gigabits per second of throughput by specifying a larger machine type. That's it for networking updates for core infrastructure. 
Check out the links to learn more and stay tuned for our next episode of What's New in Networking.